In this lecture, we are going to study different types of disease related to plant health and growth. Further on, we will study different controlling measures of such diseases. Let us begin with the term plant disease. A disease is a plant disorder caused by an infectious pathogen or agent. A disease is the impairment of normal physiological condition of plant or plant part caused by the continued irrig irritation of the primary factor. Development of any disease depend upon close interaction among the three diverse factor, the host, the pathogen and the environment. Measures are taken to prevent incidence of a disease which reduces the amount of inoculum that initiate the spread of disease and finally minimizes the loss caused by the disease have traditionally been called as control measures. We can control these different diseases only when we are aware of them. Let us have a look on, the, on such diseases. Blight and gall are plant disease in which blight cause the plant to become black or brown in color and plant no more look fresh. You can see the images for blight and gall diseases. Most often found on mature plant where symptoms appear primarily on the surfaces of flower, leaf, flower leaves. Leaf spot are ring like spot on the leaves of different shades of brown, green or yellow colors. Another plant disease are rot and smut. Diseases fungus take their energy from the plant on which they live. They are responsible for great deal of damage and are characterized by witching, crab, moldy coating, rust, blotches and rotted tissues. A major disease of stone fruit, brown root, can cause huge loss of peaches, cherries, plums, etc. Smut is black powdery disease that cause blister that burst open releasing black spores. What is a pest? Pest is a destructive insect or other animal that attack crops, food, livestock, etc. Pests may be unwanted due to their destructive na nature and health concern they pose or because they are plain annoying. They can be found in waterways, agriculture, landscape, roadsides, natural areas, stored food, school, hospital and many other places. Now let us have a look at pest categories that are classified according to their related nature. Pathogens are lost due to disease which is variable and directly dependent upon the incidence of disease. They are basically bacteria, fungi, viruses and nematodes. Invertebrate are animal species that neither possess nor develop a, ver a vertebral column. By definition, this includes all animals apart from the subphenylum vertebrate. Familiar example of invertebrates includes insect, crabs, lobster and their kins, snail, etc. Vertebrates are animal that are any species of animal within the subphylum vertebrate. Vertebrates includes jawless fish, birds, snake, rodents and other mammals. What is an insect and how it causes disease to the plant or vegetation crops? Insects are a class of invertebrates that have three part bodies. These are head, thorax and abdomen. Let us have a look on the types of insects. Insects are categorized as below on the basis of mouth part which are important in identifying and controlling insect. 
moving further let let us learn control measure of plant disease it is very important to remember that a correct diagnosis is the most important step in the eventual control of plant disease most disease have a fairly well established control protocol plant disease must be identified before they can be treated pest control refer to the regulation or management of species defined as a pest many pests have only become a problem because of its direct action of humans modifying these action can reduce the pest problem let us discuss these type of pest control method in detail biological pest control is the control of one to the control of management of natural predators and parasites in chemical control the use of pesticides or insecticides is used to kill when they are actively feeding or moving on the plant mechanical pest control is the use of hand on technique as well as simple equipment devices and natural ingredients that provide a protective barrier between plant and insect several wildlife rehabilitations organization encourages the natural form of rodent control to the exclusion and predator support and preventing secondary poisoning altogether another method of pest control are cultural control and quarantine look at this picture where cultural control involves sanitation removing insect breeding and hiding areas and using insect resident plant varieties in quarantine method of pest control there is barrier which physically isolate insect from healthy plants thank you and see you in the next lecture